uh, announcement to make. Mary and I are going on a trip to Asia. Wow. Yeah. In a few months, in a few months, we already got our, uh, our seats picked out already on the plane. Yeah. Uh, reservations already made. And yeah. where? China? All over that motherfucker. Everywhere. Everywhere. By the way, an expensive trip, no? Fuck yeah, it was. Had to do a little GoFundMe. <laughs> what do you know? Nine months? I'm not the bad guy here. I didn't do anything wrong. I loaned him the money. Uh, uh, maybe yeah. you're not the bad guy, but you need to learn some compassion. <gasps> oh, my God! Wow. Oh, oh. Jesus. What did you do? Oh. What did you do? What did I do? You plopped down on the couch. I didn't plop. You plop. You are so fucking skinny, your arms can't even hold a fucking oh, glass. Oh, get out of here, skinny. Puny, you, puny, You plopped puny. down. You don't even know how to sit on it. A... Everybody, look, there's dinner outside on the patio. Let's have a good time. OK. okay? Oh. Sorry. She plopped. That looks plopped. very oh nice, Mary. Total plop. I'm not getting that. Are you kidding me? Oh, what the fuck, Larry? Oh, oh. Oh, my God. Oh. Holy shit. Is he all right? You OK? That's glass. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, shit, Larry. Can you stand up on your own? Yeah. OK. OK. So this is glass. Yeah, yeah. And, and there's, there's an opening right here. Okay. Just follow, hold my hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. there's a step yeah. down. Oh, yeah. Step down. There's two feeble things in a fucking rope. The fucking wand, and now you walk into a fucking glass. You got one more left. You had a big night, and you know what? I just feel like it was, it was a lot for, for you. No, it wasn't a lot. No, you, you fell. I mean, you oh, hit yeah, your face. Oh, yeah, so what? I got, a very, I got a hard head, yeah. Something's off. Something is very off. Yeah. I'm telling you, she doesn't look at me as a sexual being anymore. Yes, because you walked into a door. Big deal. She could have walked into a glass door. Well, she didn't, and you did, and that's what the Three Stooges did, and they didn't get laid either, so. You're right, man. A little fat motherfucker who ran on the floor, like in circles, going woo, 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 woo. We never got laid. Never got no ads. Never. I guarantee you. Once they see you in that way, like a cripple, mm. There's no sex anymore. You know, it throws them off. Well, I mean, you don't know what to do. Do you take care of them? I thought they liked taking care of them. Oh, hey. hey. I got you a glass of water. Oh, water? Yeah, just to make sure you're not impaired when you're up on the podium. Mm. OK, something's going on here with you. Since I walked into the glass door, you're treating me like I'm a, like an invalid. Things changed when that happened. Oh, did they? Yeah. I don't see you in a sexual way anymore, so. Hey, I'm as virile as I was three days ago, and I was plenty virile then. And I'm plenty virile now. And I could prove it to you. Babe, I left my coat outside. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Huh. Oh. Oh, fuck. Oh. oh. Shit. Oh. I'm done with her, man. Once you do that shit, you can't go back. You can't unsee that shit. You can't think of the person any other way. I'm sure Lucy Lou felt the same way. Even in the fucking animal world, when pigeons fly into a motherfucking glass, the fucking office buildings and shit, they ostracized from the other pigeons and shit. Mm. You see a whole school of these motherfuckers, whether it's nice. pigeons or geese or whatever, they fucking fly in, and it's one motherfucker back there. You know why? Because that goofy motherfucker ran into a goddamn building last week, and they don't fuck with him no more. Huh. That's why Mary Ferguson had to go.